In this video, we'll look at how to load and use the cool presets in Groove Machine. Let's recap the Groove Machine vocabulary. Groove Machine has parts, patterns, and grooves. There are eight drum parts, five synth parts, and eight patterns. Each pattern is made up of bars and beats. The menu in the upper right corner is where you load grooves and parts. The most basic procedure is to load a new groove, like this. Once the groove is loaded, you can focus any part by clicking the associated pad. So if I want to solo synth part one, I click the first pad shown under synth parts, and then I click solo. And now that synth part one is in focus, any other changes I make will affect that part as well. So if I turn the stereo pan full left, synth part one will be panned full left. But notice if I select synth part two, its pan is still centered. But if I adjust the filter cutoff here on synth part two, I can go back to part one and its filter didn't change. Then you can save your changes as a new groove. Open the menu in the corner again. And I'm actually going to use the option for Save with Samples to make sure that all the sounds are stored with my new groove. You also have the option to load and save individual parts, too. First, let's load up and listen to the groove Electronics TE. Solo the first synth part by focusing on it and then hitting solo. Now listen. Cool. By the way, we'll go over how to set up the per step editing used to make this kind of part in another video. Now let's say I want to use this bass part in another groove. No problem. With the bass part in focus, select Save Part and name it. Now, load up another groove. Let's use Tribal Dub, one of my favorites. Start by listening to the groove. Now, to add the previous bass to this mix, click on the synth part where you want it to go. I'll use synth part 5. Then select Load Part. Scroll down and select the one you want, then click Open. Now listen. Wild. If you want to totally clear out the entire groove and start from scratch, use the Reset Groove function. Now when I hit play, you don't hear anything. That's because the whole groove is empty. But this lets me build up my own groove by importing parts. For example, select the bass drum part to put it in focus. Now use the Load Part option to add one of the kick drum parts. Now select Synth Part 1 and use the Load Part function again, this time to add a bass part. And you're off and running. For more great software, visit the ImageLine online shop. And for more great tutorials, visit StreamWorksAudio.com.